710 ESPN Seattle presents Bob and Graz's One More Thing. Powered by the law offices of Heidi Hunt. Slap hitting. That's the phrase. He laughed. He laughed. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So easy. That was the phrase our pal Bill Kruger used today to describe uh, how Sean Fagan sits. He's a slap hitter. He's not going to pull the ball. Uh, and it was sort of something that we had talked about about a month ago, which was when Eric Wedge first talked about making a change in, at the top of the lineup and moving Ichiro out of there, who would be the natural guy to fit in there? And, and you know, he's got two years of contract left. He was good at it when he was with the Angels. So we, we, we came up with Sean Figgins. It seems the natural conclusion. And what, what's the other choice, really? You don't want... Ackley seems capable. He seems like a guy who could do it, but you're really kind of hurting yourself by keeping him out of that three-hole. He might be I, your best hitter. You don't want him leading off for it if you don't have to. So Sean Figgins used to be one of those guys that would torment the opposition. That's who he was with the Angels. That's why the Mariners spent all that money. And you figure, all right, we kept hearing that he's not comfortable not being the leadoff hitter, and that's why he struggled. I don't completely buy that. But at this point, Eric Wedge has come as close as he's ever come to making the declaration Ichiro is not leading off. Natural conclusion is, all right, get something out of this guy. Get something out of Sean Figgins. And, and his, the way he hits, yeah. slap hitter, he's not hitting home runs, he doesn't really pull the ball, that that adds up to a, to a leadoff hitter. And if he gets on base, he can still be a little pesky out there. So why not? I think one of the things people should look at, and I know pitchers and catchers are reporting this weekend, and, and the full team doesn't have to go in next week. That doesn't mean everyone waits. Uh, one of the things to look at is going to be the guy's attitude. Let's, let's face it, as a veteran, uh, attitude was an issue with him in the first two years for, for a variety of reasons, let's say. Uh, we heard a story, uh, heard Eric Wedge talk about it, actually, that he had a bunch of veterans out about a month ago. Figgins was one of them. I'm going to be really curious to see how he conducts himself early on in spring training. You know, If we hear stories that he's doing extra work, he's doing extra things, things that a veteran wouldn't normally do. I think if you look out for that, it might be a sign that, that they've told him he may have a chance to compete for that job. Yeah, they, I mean, again, you still got to try to get something out of him from an organizational standpoint, and I'm sure as a professional, he's got some pride, wants to prove, I'm not this guy who's been here. I'm, I'm better than what I've been here. So he's got something to prove. We've heard he's in great shape, like every other player that right. they've seen. Uh, but Maybe he is. Making, he's making that concerted effort to change the opinion of everybody and just show something in, the, in these last couple of years of his contract. So spring training, this is what you use it for. Throw him in there, let him work it out. Hopefully he comes in and he can fill that role because it doesn't sound like Ichiro is going to fill it anymore. Slap away, John.